everyone, today I'm going to be filming a blogger mail haul. I haven't done one of these in a little while and recently I've been sent a lot of new products, especially obviously with the festive season and Christmas. I've got a lot of kind of Christmassy themed products and yeah, I just thought I'd share them with you. I think this could be also used almost as like a gift guide as well because there are quite a few different products in here that you could maybe give as a gift for someone as a last minute thing. I'm not going to go into a proper full on intro too much because that is a lot to go through, like a lot. And I don't want to make this video too long. If you want to see what I've been sent recently, then keep on watching. So the first thing I have is this. And this is from a brand called Mad Beauty. And I have shown Mad Beauty on my channel before. They sent me some brushes a little while ago. And they sent me this as well as another gift. And I have actually passed that other one on to my little cousin because I knew that she'd really like that. So... That I don't have, but I do have a picture of it on my Instagram and I do think you should go have a look at it because it is so cute. So the other gifts that I had was Beauty and the Beast themed and it came with a little Mrs. Potts and a little chip lip balm in this like little box. And I will leave a link to the Instagram post I did with it in the description. This is the other one they sent me. They sell this in boots. I think it's £5 I believe. So it comes with a little wildflower hand nail cream and a little nail file as well. And it's in this like really cute print. If I can find any links, I will leave them in the description and that goes for everything as well. So, so the next product I have in here is from the brand Cheers and I've shown a few Cheers products on my pages before. This time they sent me one of their Christmas boxes which is a really cute little idea and um, basically it's just this little Christmas themed box, it's got a space to write a name on, it's tied with a ribbon and yeah it's just a really cute little themed box and then inside you can have, I'm not sure how many prints it is but you can have a certain number of prints and I printed off a load of my pictures um, and I love their prints, they're really nice. I really like the idea of this and you can customize it to yourself with the number of prints and what kind of colors and stuff you want as well and it's really easy to do as well they have an app and you can customize kind of what you want to write on there you can change the colors and stuff next i have some bits from mua they sent me some bits from their prism collection so the first thing is their loose powder highlighter so this doesn't have a shade name but that's what it looks like it's a really really pretty color and it's really blendable as well you can really sort of blend it out to the intensity that you want i really like the idea of a loose powder highlight i think that's quite a nice idea and i'm looking forward to seeing what this is like i did see on their instagram they're bringing out two new shades of this i believe so i'm quite interested to see what the other shades are like as well and they also sent me three of the prism pressed highlighters so the shades are ultraviolet which is this one it's really pretty it kind of looks white and then it's kind of got this sort of purpley pinky shift I don't know if that's going to catch that on the camera I'm not going to swatch these because I might do a video based all on them and then I also have this one which is called polarized green which is actually like a green highlight and I'm really interested to see what this looks like on I don't think I've ever seen a green highlight before and yeah I'm interested to see what that's like and then finally I have this one called Rose Tinted. So this is Rose Tinted, this is Ultraviolet. They can look kind of similar in certain lights, but Rose Tinted is a little bit darker and a bit more pink, whereas Ultraviolet's like white and then has a shift in it. Um, I think Rose Tinted would be really nice to use as like a blush highlight kind of so thing. Next I have this from a brand called Hollywood Browser. The Hollywood Browser is basically like a hair removal tool. This is what the packaging looks like. You get two blades and a little like cover. So it's kind of like a blade style sort of razor kind of thing and you can get really close to the skin. You can also use it to shape facial hair or your hairline as well so that's pretty cool and yeah you can use it all over really so i'm quite interested to see what this is like you can also use it on your eyebrows as well so i might try that out next i have two things from a brand called smile lab first of all i have the flash advanced teeth whitening brush for fast and effective teeth whitening on the go this is what it looks like it comes with this sort of capsule and it's sort of like a little clicky pen that you brush on your teeth i think I'm always interested in anything that can help me whiten my teeth, so I'm looking forward to seeing what that's like. And I also got a little sample of their advanced teeth whitening strip. So in here, you get lots of information about the strips, and then you get one of their like individual little strips. So again, I'm looking forward to seeing what that's like, and if it actually makes a difference or not. Next so in here, I have this bag from Palmer's. And Palmer's is definitely one of my favourite recently discovered brands. I only discovered them this year, I think it was, and I really, really love them as a brand. They produce some 
some really lovely products and I do use their products quite regularly as well. They sent me a little selection of things to try out. So the first thing they sent me is the Cocoa Butter Formula Anti-Aging Therapy Smoothing Lotion with Alpha Beta Hydroxy Acids and it also has Cocoa Butter, Vitamin E and Shea Butter as well and this is supposed to be really good if you suffer from KP which is that kind of like bumpy skin that people get on their legs and arms and I actually have that myself so I'm quite interested to see if this helps because it's something that I'm not really bothered about but if I can get rid of it I'm happy to get rid of it so I've always wanted to try the Cocoa Butter Formula Body Lotion as well so hopefully this is a nice version. This smells lovely as well it smells really like clean and fresh and I can't wait to use this I'm actually going to have a shower after this I think and use some of this. And they sent me some hair products so I have the Coconut Oil Formula Coconut Oil Deep Conditioning Protein Pack so they have actually sent me this before and I haven't tried the first one they sent me out yet but the Coconut Oil Shampoo Conditioner that they sent me as long with this a while ago I absolutely love so I think I'm really going to like this. It's made with coconut oil, manoi oil, keratin protein, silk protein and coconut milk and again with Palmer's they're very sort of natural so there's no sulfates, no parabens, no phthalates probably got that wrong no mineral oil no gluten and no dyes and then finally they sent me some of their new coconut oil formula zero break cleansing oil shampoo and strengthening oil conditioner i haven't ever tried these before but the coconut oil formula other shampoo and conditioner that i've tried i absolutely loved so this i'm quite interested to see what it's like so the ingredients are coconut oil sweet almond oil and avocado oil it's for weak, fragile or breakage prone hair and there's no silicone so there's no build up as well which I really like. And I can't wait to try these, they sound lovely and they smell amazing as well. Coconut is one of my all time favourite scents so I'm really happy if my hair can actually smell like coconuts, that'd be great. And also in the same range there is the Zero Break Reconstructor Multi Phase Elixir. This you actually have to shake to activate because it has oils and a ceramide infused cream at the top. So this says it helps repair over processed or damaged hair so you use this on damp hair as well and it's like a leave-in conditioner kind of thing so I'm quite interested to try that out it sounds lovely and again it smells amazing so, so next I have this this is from Carmex and they have collaborated with Skinny Dip again for a limited edition pot this is sugar plum flavor and it has a little unicorn on it and I love this packaging it's really sparkly they've actually released a gift set as well that you can buy which has this in it but it's a pink tin and a unicorn keyring as well I think so this I'm really interested to try. I love Carmex as a brand and I use Carmex all the time so I'm interested to see what the sugar plum flavours like. Next I have two sets of nails from Impress. These are press on gel nails and the first set is called Claim to Fame which look like this. I also have a flash mob which look like this. I have tried Impress nails before and I do really like them and they're really great if you are on the go or you want something for a select time. Like if you've got a set party or event or something they're really handy and I love having a new sets as well I haven't ever tried either of these next I have a few things that I actually won in a competition it was a competition that the brand Lola makeup did with Tweezerman and I won a little selection of products so the first two things I have are the Lola makeup satin eyeshadows they look like this so this one is shade 012 and it's like a smoky kind of gray blue kind of color and then I also have this one which is shade 19 and it looks like this. So shade 19 is kind of like an off-white gold kind of colour. That's what it looks like. It's really pretty actually. I think that'd be a really nice highlight shade. And shade 12 is kind of like a blue-grey kind of smoky colour. And that's actually really pretty as well. And that's what that looks like as well. So, so that's what they both look like. They're both quite pretty and they're both quite shimmery as well. Which I quite like especially at this time of year. And then I also got the Lola Makeup Ultra Shine Nail Polish in the shade Pebbles. It's like a brownie kind of colour. I don't have a colour like this, but I quite like it, even though it's a bit of a strange one. And then I have one of their Ultra Shine lipsticks in the shade Spiced Wine, which is this really pretty kind of shimmery orangey colour. So that's what that looks like. I'm really looking forward to trying that. And finally from Lola Makeup, I have their Shimmer Powder. I won't swatch this because I have a feeling this is going to be too dark for me, so I might pass this on to a friend or family member but it is really pretty and it's like a shimmer brick kind of thing. Along with that I got two products from Tweezerman so I got their clear brow gel brow mousse 
which looks like this. I've never actually seen this before, so I'm quite interested to see what that's like. And then I got a little red sparkly pair of Tweezman tweezers, which is perfect for this time of year and yeah, always handy. Next, so. I have a few products from a brand called Buzz Balm. These are 100% natural and they do have bee products in. They are not tested on animals though, and like I say, they are 100% natural and they have no synthetic preservatives or fragrance. But overall, I really like the look of these. So, so this is the Buzz Balm All Purpose Skin Cream. Now they sent me some of these are full size, some of them are minis. This looks like this. It's kind of like a solid balm kind of consistency. And I actually have a rash on my face at the minute that's really dry and sore. So I'm going to put some of this on after I take my makeup off and hopefully this will help. And then they also sent me the Time Honey Hand and Cuticle Care Cream. And I really, again, like the look of this. This is a full size, I believe. This is a really nice product. I can't wait to use this. And then finally, they sent me two lip balms. So this one is full size and it's in the scent Orange Honey. And looks like this. They all look kind of the same because they are all natural. So they are going to look kind of similar. And then they sent me this really, really cute little teeny tiny one. And this is Manuka and Thyme Honey lip balm. But they have got lots of other products as well. And they have got a few different scents of lip balms and things. And they have also got a tattoo balm. So if you have had a tattoo recently or just to kind of like to upkeep your care with your tattoo They have that as well So I was really happy to be sent these and I'm looking forward to seeing what they're like Next I have this this is from a brand called pearl drops It's their specialist white instant natural white charcoal innovation minty purple toothpaste And I've never tried the pearl drops toothpaste before this looks really nice It's got charcoal in it, which is supposed to be really good for whitening your teeth And I'm always happy to again have anything that will help whiten my teeth and then from batiste they sent me their sweet and charming nice dry shampoo and i feel like batiste is one of those things it's just so handy to have and especially with the party season coming up i think it's gonna be really handy to have and then i also have this from nair and this is from the nourish line with natural argan oil and this is the ultra precision facial brush on basically you can use this on your face to remove any unwanted facial hair and it lasts up to seven days and takes three minutes roughly so, so next i have a few christmas gift sets so the first thing i have is from the brand fat face and this is their ocean palm gift set so in here you get the ocean palm body spritz and the ocean palm hand cream and the ocean palm scent is really lovely it's like really fruity and really summery even though it's a christmas gift set i actually really like that because i think it's nice to have some summery stuff um all year round i'm just i love summer so this is a cruelty free brand as well and the retail price of this is at 15 pounds it says on the back and i'm not sure where they sell this but i will link it in the description for you and then i have this gift set from burt's bees this is the burt's bag of treats gift set so this is what it looks like it comes in this really cute little bag and i actually love this bag i might try and use this as a pencil case and then inside you get four products so you get a mini body lotion i've never tried this before and it's got milk and honey in it and it's for normal to dry skin this looks lovely i can't wait to try that then you also get three lip balms you get the original burt's bees beeswax lip balm you get the vanilla bean one and the tinted lip balm in hibiscus as well so i thought that was a really nice little gift set and i love the little bag it comes in as well so. and then the final gift that i have is from the brand sukin this is a three-step face kit and it's the love your skin oil balancing now i I chose the oil balancing one because I have oily skin but they do have it for sensitive skin normal skin they have like a little facial set there's like quite a few different ones to choose from they sell this on Holland and Barrett the website and I'm guessing in some stores as well and this is 25 pounds if you're wondering it's 100% vegan 100% carbon neutral Australian made and is against animal testing it has a whole list of things that it doesn't have in it including artificial colors animal derivatives mineral oils Carbons, SLS. So in this little box, you get three, I think these are full size products. So the first thing you get is the oil balancing clarifying facial tonic, and this is paraben free. It says purifying white tea, pomegranate, and bilberry impart antioxidants to the skin whilst clarifying. Added quince aids in balancing excess oil, suitable for oily combination skin types. Um, so I think this is a bit like a tonery kind of thing. I think you use this after you wash your face. And then also in here is the oil balancing purifying gel cleanser and it says 
Ingredients here, this is a gel cleanser with bamboo charcoal to purify and balance the skin. Moringa and coconut extract purify while white tea and pomegranate nourish the complexion. And that looks like this. I've actually been needing a kind of face wash cleanser kind of thing at the minute. So I'm really happy to have this and it sounds lovely as well. And then finally, you get the oil balancing mattifying facial moisturiser with rice powder and moringa to tame and balance excess oil. Antioxidants are offered in bilberry, pomegranate and white tea combined with rue booty and willow herb to assist with guarding against impurities so these sound lovely i really like sukin as a brand everything i've tried from them previously i've really loved as well so i'm really interested to see what these are like and i love this little gift set as a whole i think it's a really nice little set so next i have this this is from a brand called aquis and i've seen this about a lot it's their Lux hair towel this is the color that i got it's like a pinky kind of color and it's like a really absorbent gentle hair towel and as this says on the front it says your hair is never so vulnerable and damage prone as when it is wet it's made from from Aquatex, an innovative fabric woven from ultra-fine fibres to create a lightweight material with superior water wicking capabilities that is gentle on your hair. So that sounds amazing. So in here you get the towel and you also get a little hair clip as well to sort of clip it up. And I love the sound of this. It sounds really good. It says the benefits is it gently dries hair fast without friction, helps reduce frizz and breakage, and it means less blow drying, which saves time as well. So I really can't wait to try this. It sounds amazing. The next thing I have is this. This is from a brand called Personal Planner. And I got to customize basically my own a5 notebook they sell other notebooks as well they have a4 a5 they have a square one and a long one as well um, but i chose the a5 and it is ring bound as you can see and the cover on it i chose a selection of some of my favorite pictures from the year hopefully the people in these pictures don't mind me showing this um, but it's just some of my family members and things like that and then inside there is a ruler it comes with a little ruler um, and you can basically customize it so on the front i put one of my favorite quotes which is there is peace even in the storm by vincent van gogh i don't know if that's a true quote or not but hopefully it is and i also put here's to 2018 make it a good one some people might find that a little bit cringe but I like it and then I actually customized my own layout of the pages as well so I chose the color scheme I chose the way it's all laid out and then at the bottom I chose the little bits as well so there's to do this week idea of the week and a little space for notes just general notes as well and before every month as well you get like a layout of the month and I even personalized it to add the birthdays on so May the 9th is my brother Jake's birthday so it even says you know like Jake's birthday and then how old he is so he's gonna be 16 so it's a 16 years and I just think that's such a cool idea and I absolutely love it you can also personalize some extra pages in the back as well so I got some lined paper some plain paper I chose a sort of yearly overview kind of thing and then I also chose some of the like the paper with the tiny dots on that you can place squares on and then not only does it come with that it also comes with a little wallet and loads of little stickers that you can put in there as well and they do sell these stickers separately if you want some more and I even chose the color of the little string it's just a really really nice present to give someone this year and I absolutely love it I'm really grateful for this next I have some Christmas nails from Elegant Touch and I always love seeing the designs they come out with every year I did get the Christmas ones last year as well so the first two I have are from just the normal Elegant Touch line so there is this one called Reindeers which is kind of like a fair isle kind of christmas jumper print and then there's these ones called tinsel tips and i love these these are really cute they are like glittery and then they've also collaborated with house of holland they have created two nail designs so there is golden baubles which are these i love them very nice and these one which are called santa claus and again i love them um these are all really really lovely i can't wait to start wearing these up until christmas now so next i have these two products and i actually won these in a competition as well they are two of the orly mini lacquers in the shade silken quartz now they the idea of this competition was to keep one and then give one to a friend but I think I'm actually going to give one to my nan because she was saying that she wanted a colour like this so I think I'm just going to pass it on to her and keep one for myself because it's actually a really pretty colour it's like a sort of shimmery pearly sort of pinky colour and I really like the look of that so that is that and then finally I have a really huge selection of products from Revlon they sent me a massive selection of products and I'm really grateful for them so thank you to Revlon for all these bits so first of all I have three of their nail enamels and I've never tried these before but they are really pretty so I have gold coin number 146 which is this one um, I have 
261 Sparkling, which is my favourite, and I love this one. It's a really, really nice colour. And then I have 761 Scandalous, which is a really nice colour as well. I don't know how well these are going to come up on camera, but they are really, really pretty and perfect for this time of year as well. So Then I have two of the Colour Stay Brow Pencils. Now, I have one in Blonde and one in Soft Black. Now, Soft Black is going to be way too dark for me. So, again, I'm actually going to keep this one sealed and not show you the colour because I'm actually going to pass this on to my Nan. Um, I think she will get a lot of use out of this compared to me. So... I will keep the blonde one and what I was really happy about with this, I thought it was going to be like a standard pencil which I'm not the biggest fan of, um, but it has a little um, spoolie, whatever you want to call it, down this end and then it's actually like a crayon. The colour is also quite good, it's not too like warm or anything so I'm really happy with that and I'm looking forward to trying that out. And then they sent me the Colour Stay Liquid Liner in Blackest Black. I've never tried this before and it's like a little inkwell style liner. It's got like a little felt tip style applicator and I haven't worn eyeliner for a really long time but I do want to get back into it especially for this time of year so I will be definitely trying this out and hopefully this will make my life a bit easier. And then one of the things I was most excited about, they actually sent me three of the Ultra HD Matte Lip Colour Metallics. So I haven't actually heard of these, I was really surprised when I saw these. I don't know if they're new or not. I have quite a few of their Ultra HD the matte lip colours now and I'm really happy that they've brought out some metallic ones so the shades are Glitz which is this kind of blue colour then there is this one which is called Luster which is kind of like a grey lilac-y kind of purple colour it's a really interesting colour and again something I haven't got so and then finally there's this one called Glam which is like a sort of rosy shimmery pinky colour I'm interested to see what these look like on and I think they're really cool I think they're great for this time of year and then they sent me two of the Colour Stay Quad this one is called Seductive and there are like purple tones and I don't actually have any like true purple colours like this one so I'm quite interested in trying that out and then there's this one called Passionate which is like got blue and more smoky colours in and I also don't have like a true navy blue like this as well so I'm quite interested in seeing what that is like and then to go with that, I've got two of the Colourstay Cream Eyeshadows. This one is in 740 Black Current, which is like a shimmery purple. And that looks really pretty. I can't wait to use that. And then I have this one, which is called Licorice, which is like a sparkly, sort of um, smoky blue grey kind of colour. And again, that looks lovely. I haven't actually tried these out yet. I have a few colours of them, but I just haven't got around to trying them out. But they do look lovely. And then I also have one of their HD lipstick crayons. This is in the shade Arabica. And I actually have this one. So I'm not going to open this and swatch it because there's absolutely no point in me doing so. Um, but I will pass this one on to a friend or family member. But it's a really nice, like quite dark brown colour. And then I have the powder blush in Classy Coral. Now I've never actually seen these blushes before. Um, I think they're quite an old product. Like I don't think they're very new. Um, but this is a really pretty colour and I can't wait to try that out. It's like a really pretty matte coral shade and those are my favourite kind of colour blushes. And then finally I have their highlighting palette in Peach Glow. But this one looks so pretty. Peachy colours are definitely my favourite kind of colours, especially for like blushes and highlights and stuff. And this just looks beautiful so I can't wait to try that. So that was everything for this blogger mail haul. I hope you all enjoyed this video and I will see you all soon. I'm not too sure if this is going to be my last blogger mail haul of the year. Uh, but if it is, I will see you all next next year but if not I'll see you all in a few weeks but thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you all very soon